Sleeping. Oh, man. Yep, thanks for waking me up. You know, wake up and mm -hmm. open Happy this birthday, thing up. Christmas. It was Christmas. Yeah, I guess so. Like birthday, more, mm -hmm. more so. What's up, everyone? So, as promised, uh, we're doing the boxing, unboxing of the Barnett Whitetail 2 or Whitetail Hunter 2. Um, the crossbow that I've been talking about in the past couple videos finally showed up and uh, dad's excited to open it up so I'm gonna film him on opening and setting everything up and going over all the stuff that came with it and yeah and then we'll do like a review of it and we'll shoot it in so hopefully you guys enjoy that I looked down and I, I climbed up on the log and looked down and I said, oh, there's white, there's some white uh, fletching. So as we said before, this is the Barnett Whitetail Hunter 2. Comes in a nice box. Yeah, the box is pretty nice. All right, well, let's just lay it down. We got you flat here. Stop. Do not return to store. And the rest I'll leave up to you. You can it's in Spanish. <laughs> Nothing on that side. Wow. So this comes in two pieces. It's a one bolt assembly on the crossbow. You've got your your frame and then your actual uh, cans and string and uh, leaves and everything or whatever you want to call them. There's that. that. So here's the the spec card that came with it. Somebody. 350 feet per second, 103 foot pounds of kinetic energy, 150 pound draw weight, 12.5 inch power stroke, 6.4 pounds overweight, overall weight, 16.125 axle to axle, and 34.25 overall length. The uh, the trigger that's in it is a trigger tech. Uh, precise trigger control and it's like a three pound pull on that trigger I think it comes with uh, lots of bow wax there it's already on they think every something like this yeah, yep, that's exactly how it is and she just slides in there that's why because it runs that friction rail yeah and underneath there you should have peeled your sticker off before you <coughs> Put that on there. Where? The caution. Here? The caution sticker. Caution. Do not put your fingers in here. Yeah, there's all kinds of warning labels. Make sure you read those. Yeah. Yeah. If you've never used a crossbow before, make sure you read the instruction manual. Unlike us, where we just charge headfirst right into danger. There's the quiver. So it came with a quiver, the mount for the quiver, the bow, the barnet scope that's on it, two bolts, and I believe that there's two field tips in there somewhere. Probably in that box down there, buddy. There's a few other down here too. Yep. Your drawstring, Cock your bait. owner's manual, Probably your field tips, any tools that you would need, and then some extra bow wax or bowstring wax. I'm sure yeah, let's the bolt. You set it up in the. Um, That's the, how I figured you'd take the, the first couple shots. 
Well, what I want to do is, well, I can't really measure across there to to do what to make sure it's setting. I guess I can set it there if I set it in the boat there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can. I can lay a level across here and get it level, and then check to make sure we're yeah. uh, level there. But there's uh, the hardware package. I got it all in nice little bags. Everything's nice and labeled. There's your two arrow tips. There's the caulking rope, rope caulking device. There's uh, your bow wax. There's your Allen screw. Caution. Hand tighten using hex key wrench. Supply check tightness after the first 20 shots, then before each use. So, with that. There's your thing, a lip chapstick. chapstick for chap lips on a cold day. Take that off. That's going to drop right down in the nose here. And the, I would say this is the one that's going to go in there. Actually, so far, pretty pretty simple. Mm -hmm. It's got a Picatinny ray yeah, on the bottom. That. How about that? That must I didn't be notice. for... I didn't, for like a bipod or something yeah, like that. Yeah. There's your, for your straps. Your sling. Yep, for your sling. I didn't take notice of that. Hmm. To the Picatinny ray? To the Picatinny ray. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't notice, notice it. That. I didn't notice it last time either. It might be for like a, uh, a bipod. Yeah. Where you could actually... Right. Rested on the ground. Yeah. If you were sitting by a tree or something. Yeah. It's a pretty for the price of this crossbow. It's like a mid-price crossbow. They're about three hundred and eighty dollars. Um, you could get a Raven or you could get a ten point, but you're going to be up over a thousand, well over a thousand dollars for those. Um, but for the price point of this, it's well constructed. It's light. It's very very light. It is light compared to the other ones. The other ones seem to be so nose heavy. Yeah, and they uh... Oh, you know what? Where's the little bumpers at? I didn't see them. Are they in that lower box? I don't know. No. No? Maybe it didn't come with them. Three? Yep, that's exactly what it does. Yep. Slides on the Picatinny rail. Uh, it holds... Three. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, here's that. I believe that's probably the size you need. Well, let's see. <coughs> you probably want to retract that bolt that's in there. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, right there it goes. Is it threaded? It is threaded right there. Well, actually, I think this is a pinch type deal, but there is a there is a hole right there. Oh, like an applied pressure. Uh huh. But there is a hole dead center there. That goes there like that. And then it'll probably go like this. Yep. Rotate in. Voila! Is there a lock or something on there? That's it. Was pretty snug Is when it? it went in, so yeah. it's like a, a tension fit. Right. Anyhow, shove that in there. They're not gonna fall out of there. I can tell you that right now. That's probably a good thing. We'll check. I mean, if it's off, we'll check it and see what it does. So with that, you need your cocker. Yep. Cocking string. With that. We'll see what she's got. We'll see what she's got. Give it a go right there, folks. So these are going to be the first two bolts. We're at about 10 yards to that target that's hanging there. Uh, just to make sure that it's on target. So. No, oh, that, that's not bad at all. Once you get it up there. Yep. So the, the two little not hooks. Not bad. Not bad? Not bad at all. Yeah. 
I'll take that. You got her. You got it? So you'll take that arrow and you'll slide it right down that channel. Your odd fletching goes into that that channel and then back into the bristles as far as you can go. You can see the little you can't really see them, but there are little bristles in there that that yeah. keeps it from falling, falling out. out of there. Yeah. There's your safe. Right there, basically yeah, just green gonna is push safe, it. red is fire, it, it says it right on there. Very nice. And if you're colorblind, back is safe. It says safe and fire on it. Real nice. Pretty smooth. Helps if you have your finger on the trigger. Mm -hmm. Side by side. Did it? I mean, what a freaking group. <laughs> and we'll walk over here and see. So that's the first two bolts through the crossbow at 10 yards. And they are literally right on top of each other. I mean, it's only 10 yards. We just wanted to make sure that we were on target. I'm a little right. So, I mean, that's probably a good thing you didn't split your. Yeah. Split your exactly. bolts. Exactly. Well, I mean, I'm a little, it's a little on the right, because yeah, I'm right here. Yeah. Where were yeah. you aiming at? Dead center. Dead center. So yep. you're a little, little right, and then about, I don't even know that it would drop at 25 yards, to tell you the well, truth. we're going to find out. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice cocking grip, right, boy. This is 25 yards right here. Yeah. A little bit easier than pulling back the oh compound. And that locks in there nice and tight, huh? Yep. Still even with that, didn't move. Yeah. So. Keeps it pretty snug. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to go for the center one. Safe. Well. I didn't see it. I, yeah, I can't tell. Yeah, it's at the very top of the target. Is it? Yeah, higher than what you were last time. I think you pulled a little bit. Could be. what we got here so we were about six inches high and six inches to the right so dad's gonna adjust the scope quarter inch MOA that'd be 24 clicks is it a pretty decent sight it, it is is it crisp it's, it's, it's pretty daggone clear 
I haven't really messed with You just breathe on her, buddy, and it's freaking there. Yeah. I mean, it's. Well, that's a three pound trigger. That's a three pound trigger, and it's nice and smooth. I mean, there's. We'll go down here and check it. So, we've made a couple adjustments. Uh, we're just trying to figure out the scope because it's not like a rifle scope where you've got a quarter inch MOA. That lower one's your first one, isn't it? No, this is my first one. This is my first one. Oh, okay. No, this is my second one. one. So it did not. Wow. All right. Well, we'll keep a clicking. Just go to 24 like I had originally. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean? Because I don't know that it's that's act an accurate statement. What, is? what it says on that scope. So we've we've shot a few bolts out of it. We need to figure out exactly how the scope zeroes in. Uh, the battery on this camera is about to die, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the video short, and we'll do another video once we get the scope shot in. Basically, you know, a week review after shooting it so many times and seeing exactly what this bow is capable of. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you got some good knowledge if you've been thinking about buying it. I'll leave a link in the description for this crossbow um, and the the accessories that Dad got. That way you guys can pick it up if you're decide if you're in the market for a crossbow. Uh, like I was saying, this thing is probably the best you're gonna get for, for the, the for the money. So if you've been holding off, pull the trigger on it. You know if you've got the money to do it, do it. So once again, thank you guys for coming out, checking out the videos, subscribing, likes, views, comments, everything. You guys are awesome. Keep it up. And as I've been saying, better content is on its way. Um, but until then, like I've said before, we've got a lot of things that we've got to do to get ready for the hunting season, and this is part of it. So I'm just trying to get you guys some basic knowledge of, you know, steps to take if you're getting into the hunting game or if you've been doing it for years and you're looking for some new ideas, hopefully we can help you out with that. Um, and on that, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for coming by. See ya.